Uh, we've had a great uh, preseason camp. Um, most of you know we are um, we introduced a lot of new New Mexican kids to our team this uh, this August, and it's been really fun to get them in there, get them going. We had our alumni game on uh, Saturday, and uh, with six returning starters, two of those. Uh, freshmen from New Mexico found their way into the starting lineup and did a great job. Uh, Julia Warren started for us in our L2 position. She uh, is a great passer and ball control player and came out and hit 500 for us first night, so we were really excited about that. Cassie House uh, started in our L1 position, which is your uh, probably your hitter that's going to get the most balls during the season. and. Also did a great job, had seven kills on 11 swings with no errors. So it was really a nice start for them. Uh, another freshman was in the lineup right away as well, Maddie Mayfield, uh, another La Cueva graduate. Uh, played back row for house and did a great job as well. So really exciting uh, about the newcomers. And, uh, and then we had our uh, returning players who did exactly what we expect them to do. Chantel Riddle had 20 kills in three games and uh, pretty much tore it up, led the team in blocking and <laughs> everything she does. She's, I think, even better than she was last year. Spent another summer training with the national team and um, just came back even more confident. We've added to her uh, responsibilities on the team. She's now passing in some rotations and doing some other things defensively that she wasn't doing last year. So. Uh, excited about that. Mikel Lovato was the preseason Libro of the Year for the Mountain West Conference, which, if you don't know volleyball, is basically the top defender. And um, she's been amazing through our preseason camp as well. And then probably our biggest uh, change or our, our biggest improvement is in our setting position. Hannah Johnson uh, is starting for us at setter. She started part-time last year. and. Um, she also spent the summer training with the national team and uh, just has come back with so much confidence. She's amazing to watch. She's fast, dynamic, and really doing a great job with leadership. She's one of our captains as just a sophomore, and I'm pretty excited to have three more years with her because she's doing amazing things. Uh, as Frank said, we open at Arkansas this week. Um, we play three teams that had great seasons last year. Uh, our feature match there is the Arkansas match. They were in the second round of the NCAA tournament last year and uh, are a really good volleyball team. Um, they're led by a senior setter who sets for the Puerto Rican national team, does a great job. And so we'll have our hands full. But all three matches will be good. It's a great uh, start for us out there. We'll, we'll have to play in front of a big crowd. and work through that and all the things we need to get better for our conference. I do think our conference is loaded this year. <laughs> I think we are, we've got a lot of teams that are going to win a lot of games outside of conference, and then it's just going to become a war inside of conference. But uh, I'm excited about that. I'm excited about what all our young players are doing and uh, really excited to get started this week. And then we come home for two home tournaments. and can kind of settle in and get going before conference starts. With the new conference schedule, though, <coughs> there's 20 conference matches, so we don't have a lot of out-of-conference out matches anymore. We have uh, three tournaments, and then we're playing New Mexico State and Texas Tech, and that's it. Um, in the past, we've had 14 or 16. This year, we have 12, and in the future, it'll probably be cut to 9 or 10, just with all the new additions. So uh, it'll be fun. Any questions? Really? Good. Oh. <laughs> well, I, I think that uh, for these freshmen to be stable, do a good job now that the uh, real matches are starting and the pressure's on, but these kids have played a lot. Uh, Warren was a high school All-American last year and played on the junior national team. Uh, House uh, played on what's called the U.S. Continental Team last summer. So they've played in some big matches already in some big tournaments, but uh, we need them to be stable in the lineup. Uh, they're impact players, but they're freshmen, and we need them to play a little older. And that's probably the biggest thing I'm looking for. Our passing 
and defense are pretty solid and the returners are, are really doing everything we need them to do so it's it, and we're you know we have three starters returning in the middle we've got a starter on the bench on the outside so we've got good depth if we can just uh, get these freshmen to really step up and do what we know they can do She has. Her, um, she told me she's been excited about this for three years. You know, she committed as a sophomore, and um, we've been excited to, to get both of those two here because they both committed as sophomores. But, um, you know, it's always a step up. Our game is faster. College athletes are stronger. You don't know how they'll adapt. And she stepped right in and done a great job, uh, particularly in our passing rotation. She's a primary passer for us. and. And, and passing a lot of balls for us and has put up probably the most consistent numbers through the first three weeks. So, you know, I think that's a good sign. I, uh, now our, probably our biggest job as coaches will be to keep them focused and fresh and uh, I think we know they can do it, so.